And I have to say the cameras today, they're getting it smaller and smaller. So if you look at what they call the nanny camera, spy camera, or anything, or hiding camera anyway, and it has to be as tiny as it can be, you can see me here in my, I'm streaming in the phone, but not this video, actually, this little thing is streaming here, you see? Now this is one tiny camera, and it's running out of battery. Uh, check that out. Look at part of the studio. This is one tiny thing. So let's go like, yeah. One tiny camera running out of battery. It will run about for two hours and it's magnetic. You just go like this and put this right in, I don't know, right in your fridge. All right. So let's talk about this tiny spy nanny cam. <music> How are we doing guys? This is Dario from Media Boxing Team. Today I got one tiny camera. Hey, let's check my, my software. Can we see the software there? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. So now, what I like about this, so let's go over my next camera right over here and tap in the ceiling. So we can see this is a tiny real camera. We have it on, on and off. We can switch the mode. This is a magnetic. This is to charge a camera. And also you can put here in a micro SD card. So you can send information to your phone or if your phone is soft, the camera will record if anything is moving. So it records movement. It will automatically turn on or will start recording when something moves close to the camera. And it comes with this nice little thing here. Let me see if I can put it closer to the camera right there. And it's like a snake. So let's plug this thing. That's it. So now I have like a snake. You can put it anywhere you want it. Um, see, it also comes as well with the yeah, USB cable if you need to charge it. But you can use any, I'm using all uh, iPad charger and it was perfect. You can hand it this way. Now, we can see here uh, this one is running right now at 720, but you can change the resolution to 10, 1080, 640, 480. So it depends on the speed of your network. And if we go, let's go back here. Uh, GPU right now, yes, want to use part of the GPU of the phone. We can uh, activate the night vision. See, that's a night vision now, so at night you activate it, or you can run a schedule to activate also as well uh, the night vision. See, we can change the lighting, the background, we can do that. We can take a screenshot, so we press there, and they take a screenshot. We can save, and right now it's saving on my phone. Yeah. So a lot of configuration, and we can turn the speaker on. Let's throw this way. Hello. 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 Testing, testing. So, the feedback, because I'm too close. Okay, let me shut that. Okay, that's normal because it gets the feedback between the foam and the camera. So, that's normal. That happened in any audio system. We'll do that. You're not supposed to be that, that close. Okay, so that cool come there. And it gives you the time in the phone. Let's show you the time. And let's change it. Let's go back to the main configuration now. So we see here the cameras. We can load ladder cameras here. Again, a screenshot. We can see the screenshot. I did that. That's live. The record. See what I did? I can come here and play uh, the video. See? Perfect. We pause the video. And if you have multiple cameras here live, you can run all the cameras nice and simple here. Or you can do square here and we can go and put the camera here and we have different cameras. Now to load the application is pretty simple. What you got to do is to scan the instructions. You're going to look the English side. So it's in our Q code. So automatically you scan either uh, for uh, iOS device or Google. You scan it here and you automatically detect it. 
and pretty simple we go here and we can modify even more the camera now one thing you want to do is change the camera the password by default by default is triple a but anyway if you not do that this will ask you every minute you need change you need to change it and the ud code that you're going to be scanning in the back that's one configuration and then the advanced configuration of this we can uh, configure the Wi-Fi we can format the memory card see we can uh, activate the night vision we can set time and settings so maybe during the day you're at home you don't want this to get activated you want to maybe only when you are at work it gets activated and you can reboot the camera from here they got all the miscellaneous settings uh, working LED on so you can turn it off the LED so it looks like uh, the camera is off a frequency we are in your state so we want to 660 that's for the lighting so we are not flicking so we put ok automatic safe in the machine I think it's going to reset now as if you may check is what we said so you get a nice configuration on the camera and you can see the schedule so if you're looking for a camera there's a tiny one it lasts two hours with battery so you take it and it is about two hours uh, and recording time that's a lot without uh, having any cable so you can leave it recording that you want to try or check or you can use the USB cable plug it in and just run the outlet and you get power 24 hours so you can use one of these things in the computer you know and just put it this way and they have it next to your computer that's it or whatever you know so now I can put it this way and have it right next to my computer. So guys, for more information on this camera, the tiny one, this is, I think this is the, the small ones that have now been reviewed. And I've been reviewing a lot of cameras, but this is the most tiny one. And I like it. And look, I got 1080, perfect. And All right, so guys, for more information on the tiny, I call it the tiny camera, uh, check the link below. Thank you.